Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were about to deliver the spices back to our friend Esperanza. So, let's do that. If we can actually, you know, dock, that'd be fantastic. So, let's have a little gander. Ah, and that wonderful, wonderful, wonderful music. Something about this music makes me think of Zelda. So I'm going to shut up, drink coffee, and enjoy the music for a minute. All righty then. What? You found all three ingredients? Yup, here you go. Some gentum, kale, and cabal. You gave the gentum, kale, and cabal away. Yes, that's it. With these ingredients, I'll be able to make my mother's special cabal skewer. Just wait there. I'll make some cabal skewers. Do it. Thanks for waiting. Would you please bring this to my mother in Marumba now? You received one mum skewer. Well, really, we could just eat the thing. Does she have any idea how... Uh, well, I guess she doesn't care, but she has no respect to how much fuel and resources this is costing us. Uh, I'm quite hyped, because tomorrow I have finally a external hard drive coming for my Xbox One X, which I can use on my Series X as well, which is really cool. You have to keep formatting them between the two systems. and just load it up with all the 360 games and Xbox One games and move it around between the two systems because one terabyte of space is obviously almost useless um, but yeah I managed to get a four terabyte hard drive the Seagate game drive thing um, for 40% off which I'm looking forward to now obviously you can't use it for modern games on your uh, Series X because is it Nasrad? No, it's Maramba that we're going to uh, because it needs the Velocity SSD storage but uh, you know I'm not paying nearly £400 for 2 gigs of space not happening I'm quite happy to just transfer my saves to and from the SSD for a while So yeah, looking forward to that. Okay. Trouble is, when it takes you, you know, a couple of days to download a game, you're kind of apprehensive <laughs> with deleting them. And four terabytes, yeah, that should last me a while. Okay. Especially with Game Pass. Man, I, I download so many games. Um, because I want to play them or try them out and I just oh, I'm constantly fighting um, a lack of storage space and the uh, expansion card prices for the Xbox One X uh, uh, the Xbox Series X are just absolutely disgusting 400 pounds nearly for two terabyte yeah yeah fuck you Microsoft I don't think so not a chance 200 for the two terabyte um, two terabyte isn't worth it. <laughs> Not a chance. You're back. I said you were persistent, but this is ridiculous. What? Do you wish me to taste another Kabul skewer? All right, all right. I give in. Let me taste it. I I can't believe it. This tastes exactly like my Kabul skewer. Your daughter said she never once forgot about the time she spent with you. And she hasn't forgotten anything that you've ever taught her. And the proof is in that Kabul skewer. She tried so hard to make it just like yours. Please, she's begging for your forgiveness. Tell her that it'll taste even better if she leaves it on the fire for another 30 seconds. Huh? What do you mean by that? Are you forgiving her? Yes. 
<laughs> well, that was bloody easy. Well, actually it wasn't. It was the longest, most laborious quest in the game. But hey, you've won me over. I didn't think I could ever forgive her, but perhaps I was wrong. Perhaps I was at fault as well. All right. So, profit? <sighs> Not quite. Um, where is... Where is the Sailor's Guild here? Because we've got quite a few to hand in. It's down here by the docks, I believe. Definitely want to cash these bad boys in. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people arguing online saying that actually the price is fair. Uh, because PC drives cost about that kind of money. What you're forgetting is the Microsoft drives use the older, slower standard. So actually, no, they are just a ripoff. To think that the King of Rogues would... Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, they're at least 40% higher price than they, they should be, really. Um, okay. Okay sell all of this stuff. I mean, I'm glad we finally reached uh, the point where consoles have dispensed with their useless, slow mechanical drives, but... Oh, man. What we really need is a third-party enclosure. And um, one that we can put our own SSDs into. That would work. I hate the idea that we can only buy those silly Seagate ones that are just monstrously expensive. They have released a 512 meg, uh, 512 meg, 512 gigabyte one now uh, for like 140 pounds, but like 512 gigs, like that, what's the point? <laughs> that's literally, by the time that's formatted, you probably have about 400 and something gigs on it if you're lucky. That's worthless. Absolutely worthless. Anyway, I'm going to stop whinging now. Let's go. Right, let's just light these guys up. I mean, I've been using SSDs on my PC for bloody ages. All those enemies, and they were only worth 308 gold. Pathetic. Not worth our time. Now. Also, they said that um, with this new generation of consoles, they were going to make games smaller. Um, I think they were lying. <laughs> Just slightly. Okay. <gasps> I'll be able to have, like, the whole collection of Gears of War. Oh, yes. That's the biggest barrier for me actually be able to hold lots of games whole collections of games on my system nice right now hopefully she's going to give us the cham however I have a feeling that once we talk to her we then have to go back to see her mom I think hello you did you bring the Kabul skewer to my mother in Maramba, like I asked? What did she say? She said it was almost perfect. Well, actually, she said you could probably cook it for about a minute longer, but the taste was perfect. Really? I'm so happy. I'm sure my mother has forgiven me now. I can't thank you people enough. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Hey, and there's the Abrak tra Cham that we needed. If you're ever in the area, please don't hesitate to come visit me. Yeah, I think this is the last cham. The last Abrak cham, anyway. Uh, so, let's have a look at our items. Have we fed all three? I'm not sure now. Increases will by three. Let's power up her will, I guess. Uh, what else do we have? Dexa Seed. Agile. Uh, 
Let's just give that to Vase, why not? And there's the Abrak Cham. Now, notice how he didn't um, actually evolve. That's because uh, he's already at his ultimate form that he can have at the moment. So, he does have one higher form, I do believe. But you have to feed him all of the Chams at once. And, and all the Abrak Chams at once. But obviously we need to carry on and get them all first. Now... What we can do, we do have two moonfish, so we can go drop those in. And then we need to go to the ice plains, I believe. The land of ice, because that is where our next monster awaits us. So we shall join it in glorious combat in the sky. So let's get out of here. Next stop, Sailor's Island. Which, luckily, isn't actually that far away. I was thinking, I wish there was some kind of fast travel system in this game, but <laughs> that's just, you know, it's not needed. I've just been playing way too much bug snacks. And I'm used to just being able to fast... ...travel everywhere. Right. Um... Attack. Now, if we go for. Hang on. Uh, one second. My missus has just texted me saying she's bought me that, that hard drive that I was talking about. It's like, ah, uh, I just bought it myself. Hang on. One second. Okay. Let's uh, continue, shall we? Right. So, Gabby's going to keep the drive that she just bought. <laughs> That's really sweet. She tries to buy me something as a surprise, and uh, <laughs> I've already bought it. Oops. Um, <laughs> bless her. So that's cool. Also, that means uh, I can have an old two terabyte drive, so I can use the new four terabyte on my one on my Series X, and I can have her old two terabyte one for my one X. Yeah. Why? What's with the fucking names, Microsoft? Jesus Christ. 1x, 2x, 3 Ah, oh, Jesus. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Right. So, what, what, oh, God. Where were we? What, what were we doing? We were going off to the lands of ice. Which, actually, we can... Get by going down south. Cool. Right, let's do that then. Damn bastards, always in the way. Die, motherfucker, die. Right, let's go. So, if we go... Oh, God, we're going the wrong way again. We want to go west. I think it's west. Yep, west. Westward bound. Ah, oh, come on, man. Honestly. No wonder nothing ever gets done. Oh, yeah, we was going to sell... Ah, oh, we'll sort the moonfish out later. It's not that important now. It's fine. Right, here we go. Now. Are we in the right area? We are. So, our target ooh, is somewhere around here, apparently. Um, nope, unfortunate. Oh, there's two bloopers there, is there? Nope, just the one. That's fine. Definitely want to kill those bloopers. You know what? Let's go for Reign of Swords. Or, you know, maybe not. Not works too. Um, right. So down here. Here we go. We're in the lands of ice. Now, we need to find ourselves a big floaty majig. Ah, there it is. Directly ahead. Here's me thinking this was going to be difficult to find. 
Uh, let's save because again, I've never fought this thing before. So I don't know how tough this guy's gonna be, but we're gonna find out. Everything's max health. Good. Let's go, guys. We're kind of fighting bigger fish than you. These things look interesting. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Fuck you guys. Not even worth our time. Barely any money. Right, come to Papa. Look at this thing. This is weird. So, Mythical Beast 2. It's like a spider thing. Whoa, what is that thing? It's an insect or something? It's a big insect. Wow. There are things like this flying around. Now, this is why I love sailing. You never know what you'll run into. Yeah, Vase, that's cool, but I love how... Oh, shit. Look at it. So, we need to... Oof. Let's say guard. Hit it with the ancient cannon. Maybe guard. So, let's see how much damage our ancient cannon does. And oof, this thing might be big. This thing might hurt. Gear grease. Let's see what happens. Spiral. How much does this hurt? Um. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Not really. Yeah, uh, doesn't really hurt at all. Actually. Okay. Cool. I guess. Fine. Fire all weapons! Oh, this is in the bag. This is in the bag. I thought these mythical beasts might have been more dangerous, actually, if I'm being honest with you, but they seem to go down pretty easy. How, how, well, however, um, we haven't won yet, so, you know, there's that. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're more than fine. In fact, if we can use the moon cannon on this bad boy, it's toast. But I think a couple of turns of good salvos would bring this thing down pretty handily anyway, to be honest. I don't really have too much to worry about. Big flying bastard. It's too thin. We can't hit it from the side. Okay. So, get behind it, I guess. Okay, we got behind it. This should give us an advantage. Behind it, um, are you sure that thing has a front and a back? They both look the same to me. Uh, just leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. If I say it's the back, it's the back, okay? Just fire at it. Right, so going behind it was the right thing to do. And we can open up with a devastating attack. Uh, maybe use that. I don't know. And then let's get some gear grease in on it. Now, how much damage does the old Moonstone Cannon do? Moonstone cannon, fire. Oh, baby. You're going down, boy. I think. Yeah, dude. Oof. That hurts it. Two of those and it is dust. Ooh. Might not need might not get a chance actually to get a um, another shot. Wow. I mean we still got two of these things to take out, so maybe the other ones will be a little bit more dangerous. Maybe? A question mark? I don't know. I love... Ooh, missed. I love how far those guns can swivel. Alright. If we get the opportunity to hit it again with the moon cannon, that's what we'll do. 
But I think we're going to be fine. All right, it's starting to run away. See, I told you it, this was the back. Let's go after it. Uh, sure, whatever, Vase. Well, beginning pursuit. That's the stuff. I guess we're not going to get a chance to use our... Well, that's fine. Uh, I don't think, to be honest, it's going to survive that. So let's just go with that. Shaggy. That's new. That looked big. Well, it wasn't. So, you know. Hit it! Oh, come on. Come on. Really? What are you guys shooting at? That was really bad. Well, I mean, it wasn't really bad. It's just prolonging the inevitable. Hopefully we can get behind it next turn. But we might not be able to use the Moonstone Cannon because we depleted all of our spirit power. We got cocky. We, we pulled a Sony. That was bad. Ah, oh, we're right behind it then. Could have lit it up like a Christmas tree. Right, so we have the advantage. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit it with the Ancient Cannon. And because we're not really scared of its attacks, we're going to use some Spirit. We're going to hit it with the Ancient Cannon again. And then we're going to hit up some more Spirit. If it survives. It did not survive. <laughs> it just falls down on fire. Seriously. Alright, well, whatever. Whatever, I guess. Eh, uh, not a great amount of XP, really. Not a great amount of gold, either, but... Hey, ooh, goddess figure and an air purifier. So... I guess we can repair our ship. Uh, I mean... Might as well just use a complete kit. Sure. Um, so, what did we get here? We got... Trip... Ooh! The triple turbo is actually better. Than our bore up kit. Like significantly better. Okay. Cool. Right. Alloy deck. So that's just magic defense. And that just purifies the air below decks to keep everything smelling clean, fresh, not sweaty. Uh, you can actually get a um, title if you have all of these luxurious items attached to your ship. There's like an air purifier, underfloor heating. Um, it might be the goddess figure as well, and there's something else, like air conditioning or something that you can get. Um, and if you have all those things equipped at once, you, I think you get called like Vase the Luxurious or something like that. Um, yeah, but, it, you know, it's not really worth it. So, timing valve. Okay. Well, that's down. Um... I mean, there is another creature that we can go after now. There's the rock we can't do yet because we can't fly high enough. Um, can't believe we've done that secret quest. That's pretty cool. Let me just check my guide. There's a giant blooper we can get. And... Oh, it's Vase, uh, Vase the Extravagant. You have to have 1 million gold. 
acquire all items scattered around the world to earn the, this title. Uh, the items are Intercom, Enhanced Kitchen, Floor Heater, Air Purifier. Uh, ah, right, so that Air Purifier only drops if we've got kill Killfoot in our crew. Um, we also need Soundproofing. Um, ba -ba -ba. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Um, oh god, so we need to defeat the giant manta ray deep in cloud sea, but it only drops 10% of the time. Uh, we need the chandelier as well, and the wooden doll. That's, yeah, it's actually quite hard to get, so we're not going to worry too much about that. Um, not finding any information here where the monsters are. Well, that's okay. I have another guide. I actually have two guides for this game. Uh, technically, if you in count, uh, if you count the chests, I have three different guides because um, some of the guides, for some reason, don't have everything you need. Yeah, go figure. And some of the other guides, especially when it comes to the chests, get things wrong. Go figure. Um, and there's an awful lot of things to this game. So, uh, now. So the Sky Fang, that's a weapon we can get. But to get the Sky Fang, which is... I believe is the best weapon Vase can have. You need 100% of the discoveries, 90% of the treasure chests, 12 non-story ship battles, kill all four giant monsters, all crew members, all moonfish, all bounties, and beat Pastel four times, plus kill 2,500 plus enemies. I don't know how you know how many enemies you've killed. Uh, not sure, to be honest. There, there's no know where it tells you um, but oh my god I mean this guy the one I'm looking at right now uh, has 130 134 pages which is just insanity absolute insanity um, now we've got a giant blooper that we can go fight but there is a very specific way you actually have to kill that one, apparently. So, 10 is giant monsters. So. Uh, head north of the cat's island to the giant squid's nest. We've done that one. That one's called Ob Obis no, Orbispo. Okay. Now, the giant looper is in the middle of loop, the Looperland area. I don't know where that is. East of Yafatoma through the Stone Reef. Uh, we could definitely look for that one. East of Yafatoma. So east would be... And it's through the Stone Rift. So, I'm guessing it's going to be like here somewhere. Well, okay. We can do that. Kind of want to get as much of this side quest stuff done as we possibly can before we move on. Nice to draw a line in the sand. Right, where are we now? We're there. So, I'm guessing the giant looper is here somewhere. But we have to use the strategy to defeat him because there's a very specific way. Because like all loopers, he will run away. Unfortunately. We don't want him to run away. Now, I'm guessing if he does run away, we can just fight him again. But I'm not 100% sure. I mean, there wouldn't it wouldn't be a game over, surely. Not game over, but it wouldn't be like a one-shot chance. But you need to kill him in one hit, basically. So you need to time all of your shots and everything. 
Right. So, I'm guessing this is Looperland. Not 100% sure, but I guess this is. Well, that's not a giant looper. Not by a long shot. It might be worth me going off camera here to find the git. Otherwise, we could be here for a little while. Uh, so it says it's to the east of Yafatoma, which is there, through the rift, which is here. And I'm also guessing that we can actually see it. Again, these are assumptions on my part. Now, the guide I'm actually looking at isn't very clear. It's not like, you know, it doesn't tell you exactly where to go. It just gives you very vague, um, somewhat not that useful directions. So. I mean, it wouldn't be there, would it? So there's the bistro. Less. There's a pirate ship. We will come back for that pirate ship, but not yet. So that's the rock. Now the rock is actually above us. Uh, it's in the high ocean, but we obviously can't get to that yet. And also, we are out of time. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to end this video here. And when we come back, we are... going to have found where this bastard is. So. Ooh, nice. With that said, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to go fight a giant looper. Apparently, if I can find it. Which is an if. <laughs> there are no guarantees in this game. But uh, anyway, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.